Good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, today I will show you how to get uh, foreign key column using the link single query, or you can say single link query. Uh, get uh, foreign key columns. So first of all, uh, add two uh, tables in a model uh, using entity framework model first approach. So add ad.net entity model new item um, ad.net entity data model in a model add two uh, table we have a two table that is employee and the department um, by using the single link query we can uh, we can show how to display data from other tables in a data grid view so make the connection string uh, for model some uh, take some times to changes the model uh, databases uh, that is the previously added model yeah changes complete entity framework uh, Select the table from entity uh, data model wizard mm, department and employee punish mm, it's too much simple by using model first approach we can create a model in the context classes okay Mm, it's taking too much uh, few seconds or you can say few minutes uh, adding the model yeah relationship is shown uh, by using the navigation property that is uh, navigation property is EMPS and the D depth and uh, relations between the department and the employee uh, by using the department number okay so add a data grid view result shown under untucked uh, view column by using the single link query so uh, we have a two table that is EMPS employee and the data uh, department so first of all uh, uh, know what I want to get so I want to get the name of the employee from the employee table but uh, that employee working in department IT or you can say department CS so how to connect uh, the both tables mm, the connection possible by using the foreign key that is department number which is available in the employee uh, table so variable query from G in uh, EMPL uh, EMPL is a data context and EMPS is a public property of the employee class. Okay, join M in um, EMPL dot DPT DPTS is a public property on. I want to join both tables that is DPTS and EMPS on G dot department number is equals to uh, M dot department number where uh, I want to get uh, the department name also so use where cause uh, by using the where cause we can uh, here we select both uh, table so uh, what is used here M actually M dot department name and department number uh, both are there so department name is double equals to CS okay and you can also select IT select uh, here we uh, here we can select um, roles 
uh, or you can say column for the data grid view use double equals to select uh, name here name is a uh, you can say uh, the variable name and the g dot employee name and employee id equals to m dot or you can say g dot sorry m is represent to department table play id this query is bind with the data grid view data grid view one dot data source equals to query dot to list it's too much simple query query dot to list so here we have two uh, rows for the CS department or you can say in the CS department we have two employee working uh, that is Tharun and Deepak and in the id department we have only one uh, employee that is um, narinda okay so let's check it and get the result yeah in the third employee id we have only a single uh, name that is narinda so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all video tutorials thank you thank you very much